Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. I'm Jason and today we will be showing how to set up the viewport. Okay, following our previous video on the unboxing for the viewport, I'm sure that some of you are very curious about the viewport device. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will be setting up the viewport to our UDM Pro as per our previous video where we did it for the G3 instant. Okay, so for this you can see that the viewport right now currently is powered by PoE and it's white color. As usual when we are doing the Unify, we know that when it's white color, it hasn't been adopted. So we have to enter into the UDM Pro and then to adopt the unit. And once we adopt the unit, it will show up onto the screen. Okay, so at the same time here, you can see that I have also attached the HDMI cable to the monitor, all right? And you can see from the monitor right, right now, it's still under the screen where it shows you Unify Protect, okay? And at the same time, after you have actually attached the LAN port for the PoE power, there is also another port here for you where you can still attach as per normal to use as data, okay? You can only use it as data, you can't use it as PoE, there's no PoE out, okay? All the PoE up, all the PoE will be used by the viewport itself, okay? And as usual, you can see here, I'm using all the Unify cables, all right? So we have all the Unify cables here, and this is the white one, and this is the black one, all right? So you can still carry on and plug it into the laptop to be used for data, okay? So let me try and do the next portion here, as usual, where we will go into the screen, okay? When we, once we go into the screen, we will see, all right, after we proceed into the Chrome, okay, we will be able to see that we have to add device, okay? So you can follow my mouse cursor and you will see that we have to go into the video, Unify Protect, add device, and the viewport will show up, okay? Being that it is ready to be adopted, all you have to do is just highlight the viewport device, okay? and add device okay once you choose to add device it will in almost instantaneously be added into your unified protect okay and then then you can see on your viewport what is the ip number okay how is it connected if it's on gigabit or 1000 all right and also details of what you can name it okay and of course you can also reboot the unit or you can manage the unit itself okay so over here we have a form of view where you can have it on default or you can customize up to 16 cameras okay if you have a, a solution or a unified protect solution where it's more than 16 cameras then that's where you will have to have a separate solution for it okay for the viewport right now currently it's restricted up to 16 cameras 16 channels it's going to show you a screensaver where it's very interesting, you see, this is how it starts up. All right, I'm sorry I can't record this screen, but I can do it with the video camera, okay? And it is definitely booting up. Okay, once it's done booting up, you can further see. Okay, let it boot up and see. For it to be ready for adoption, you can see that. is a welcome screen for the viewport okay, it's very interesting and the next thing is it will actually advise you to make sure that you're on the same network with your controller device and also to make sure that you can connect to your protect and then you will be able to do the unified protect portion okay and it's a very very nice screen saver okay i'm going to open up okay well, i will have a very quick refresh all right so we can add on the viewport. So what's going to happen is we're going to have to go to add device. Okay. Okay, we'll see the viewport here. And then we just add device. And you can see almost instantaneously, it will come into your Unified Protect. And you'll be able to just see all your other cameras and also your viewport, as you can see over here. Okay. So this is being recorded and you will see it on the other side. All right.
So basically I have gone through the whole entire setup of the viewport where you have to adopt it into your Unify Protect system be it that you are using UDM Pro or a Cloud Key Gen 2 okay so take note of that it's best to use it with a UDM Pro I believe it works better okay and also remember that it only for up to 16 cameras or 16 channels all right so basically this concludes the setting up for the viewport if you have any questions please leave us a comment or else please remember to click like for our video and subscribe to our channel if it has been very useful for you thank you very much